what should I do? PHP or Python? Somebody please help me out. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to be honest with you. If you're looking to become a web developer, PHP is no brainer. Okay? Now, if you're planning on doing machine learning or doing other things like creating software, then I will say pick Python. Most jobs that are hired for Python, they really want a developer who has a degree. Like, you can't escape it. Some places they might say, okay, we're going to hire you, we're going to give you the chance, but that's not the norm. You got to understand this. Most colleges now, they are all actually teaching Python, okay? So that's part of the curriculum. That's like the norm now, okay? So because it's the norm, people want to actually hire college graduates because it's like, okay, in their head they're thinking, well, this guy, he probably learned uh, for four years in school about Python, even though it probably was maybe six months and three months out of those six months was mostly basics okay everything else was theory and data structures and algorithms and hey databases which is also useful but it's not like real world experience okay now going back to php if you're looking to become a web developer and you're looking to get a job quick and you are self-taught like i said php is a no-brainer all right you're gonna find jobs in wordpress you're gonna find jobs in Laravel, you're gonna find jobs for Legacy Code, Code Igniter, uh, Cake PHP. There's a whole bunch of legacy code out there that people need new developers to maintain. Because let's be honest, a lot of the older developers they want to get into the cool stuff. They want to get into the Node.js. They want to get into the Python world. They want to get into the world of uh, Crystal Lang, uh, Elixir. And in reality, they look at PHP, like, uh, I don't want to do that no more. I've been doing that for eight years, so let some poor soul do it. I mean, that's the mentality that they have, you know. Do I think that PHP is bad? Nah, I just think, like, PHP has a bad name because of how things used to be done back in the days, you know, spaghetti code, and you have your front end mixed with the back end stuff and you're like wait what like why are we doing this like i've seen crazy php scripts that are ridiculous like you have all of your sql statements in one php file you have all of your logic in that same php file and all of your view inside that same php file so yes i've seen a lot of crazy php but that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of good frameworks out there like php laravel that actually you know, put everybody back on that, that whip. Okay, so <laughs> get people back in order because, you know, some people, if you don't give them a structure, they start doing crazy stuff. Trust me, I've seen the craziest things out there. All right, so my advice for you guys is if you're looking to become a web developer and you like the web, stick to PHP. You're fine. Don't worry about what's going on in software development right don't worry about what's going on in silicon valley don't worry what's going on in the big cities of like hey new york or you know, la like don't focus on that because unless you live in those areas you're not gonna find those jobs for python and that's the truth okay sometimes we just have to be realistic so we love certain technologies we love certain frameworks but at the same time is there a job for me out there that's the question you gotta ask yourself it's not really about which one should i do which one should is the coolest one which one is the one that i'm gonna enjoy the most i mean you're gonna enjoy both of them it's programming okay but the thing that's important is this are you gonna get a job you can't tell your wife oh i decided to learn python for six months and now i can't find a job hold on now i'm gonna learn php you can't tell your wife that you know what I'm saying? You got two two choices. If you're going to be a self-taught developer, you might as well start focusing on PHP. There's no way around it. And I think Future got a song called There's No Way Around It. Yeah, I think so. So go check that song out somehow. All right. Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. If you're looking to learn how to code, go visit my website. CodingPhase.com. I specialize in web development and that's what I do.